Now we will look at the data cleaning and EDA section of the exam corresponding to questions 6 through 8. So number 6 was all multiple choice. Um, it was not multiple choice, sorry, it was all true or false. The first part is true or false. Exploratory data analysis is the process of testing key hypotheses, and that's false. EDA is more of trying to figure out how the data is organized and trying to see what um, was sort of emphasized in the data, how it's formatted, and what conclusions you or what um, analyses you may be able to do, right, um, with the data. It's not the process of actually making conclusions and doing analysis with the data. Okay, so that one's false. B, or part two, the structure of the data describes how it is formatted and organized. That's exactly right, because for example, if you're given a CSV file or a JSON or XML file, which in fall 2018 we'll talk about later in the course, that sort of tells us um, the relations that are sort of given in the data. If we're given all of the data for a certain category, or if we're given all the data for certain restaurants, so on and so forth. Three, throughout the process of EDA, it is often necessary to transform or clean the data. That is true. One of the main reasons we do EDA. And four, during the data cleaning process, it is generally a good idea to drop records that contain missing values. That is very false, okay? Um, the reason that certain values may be missing can often um, play a large part in your analysis. And by deleting um, any of this data, it may skew your values one way or another, okay? So you definitely do not want to drop records that contain missing values, so that's false. Number seven, it quotes homework three, which in our semester is homework two. And it quotes the plot of weekday and weekend patterns for both casual and registered writers, okay? Um, and if you see the plot that is on screen right now, we notice that on weekdays, the number of casual riders was frequently lower than the number of registered riders. Okay, and this is something that you would just have to remember from this homework. And part B, or number two, which group of riders demonstrated a pronounced bimodal daily usage pattern? Again, from the diagram, you see that around seven or eight o'clock and around, let's say about five o'clock in the afternoon, there were two peaks for the registered riders. Whereas the casual riders, um, there was only one sort of peak. So for the registered riders, um, they sort of had a bimodal usage pattern. And in number eight, we're given the following snippet of code. Um, it sort of gives us um, some sort of file and we need to answer questions about it. So one, which of the following best describes the format, raw text, tab separated values, comma separated values, and JSON. And this one looks exactly like a CSV, right? Why? Because, well, there's commas separating different entries, right? So that, that's a CSV. Which of the following best describes the granularity of each record? So how specific or general each row is? Well, Looking at it, it seems like the names are the names of specific restaurants, okay? Um, the reason it's not restaurant chains is because, for example, for the best food, there's multiple rows, but there's different um, addresses. So it probably tells us different locations um, as opposed to um, companies as a whole. So for this one, it's individual restaurant locations. For three, we need to select all true statements. Does the available data, like does it indicate that business ID is a primary key? Let's look. Well, what else could be a primary key? Okay, well, um, it seems like the phone number is repeated on two different rows, so it can't be that. Um, it seems like some entries don't have an address, so it can't be that. Um, some entries have the same name, so it can't be that. But it looks like business ID is unique for every row. Okay, so it looks like that is a primary key. Do there, the statement, there appears to be no missing values? Well, that's false because there's a missing value right here, so that's not an option. While the data appears to be quoted, there may be issues with the quote character. That's true because if you look at the name here, 
best for some reason is quoted within the quote. So when we try and parse this in Python, um, it might cause us some issues, right? Um, so we might have to change all of the outside quotes to be single quotes as opposed to double quotes. Are there nested records? It doesn't appear so. Um, so the correct options for three were just the first and third options. 